2023 Ford Bronco DR. for being here today. So we are very excited about introducing this product to you. But before we do that, Bronco has a lot of legacy and success in motorsports. So we want to just bring some of that here for you. So in 1969, everybody knows about Rod Hall, Baja 1000, production 4x4, winning overall. First time that a 4x4 won overall. So that was a big deal. And in 2019, we wanted to honor that. So we created the Bronco R to honor the 50th anniversary, but also as a proof, proof point for us in terms of the Bronco platform architecture, the frame and the, the suspension architecture, and the powertrain, engine, and transmission. So we entered this in the 2019 Baja 1000, the 2020 Baja 1000. It's a great proof point for us. We learned so much about it. It's a very well inside this architecture. But we didn't stop there. Earlier this year, at Ultra 4 King of the Hammers, we introduced two more racing Broncos. Um, but it's been a great truck, wins for both Vaughn and Lauren, and Vaughn captured the season championship as well for 4400. So that's great success. But Bronco, it's our brand, it's our outside brand, brand for built wild and 4x4 only vehicles. So to build on that in 2020, we entered the Bronco Sport in the Rebel Rally, again, with success. So for the cross class, uh, X cross class, we had a win in 2020. And in motorsports, we are always looking forward. We, what's the next challenge? What are we gonna do? And this one, we've been working on for, for a while now, and that's what we wanna share with you today. What we wanted to do is bring a production Bronco that is the first of its kind, turnkey racer that you can buy, put some decals on it, put a race number on it, take it to the Baja 1000 and race. So what will be coming down here, dramatic pause. What I'd like to introduce is a turnkey Bronco racer, desert racer, to 2023 Ford Bronco DR. Coyote V8, so very high level, and then I'll go into a little more detail. It's got a Coyote V8, sounds great, great power, looks great, great styling. Paul will talk about that in a little bit. Large tires and wheels, large large travel on the suspension. So this is different, and the, and the difference is all this racing that we've done in these other classes is more about learning and factory support. What makes this different is this will be a production vehicle that you can buy and you can compete in. And that's very, very important to extend Bronco and accessibility and be able to go racing with it. So we will, this will be racing in 2022, uh, where Bronco should be racing in the desert, uh, in the Baja 1000. So we're very excited about that. And then it will, we'll be taking orders in late 2022. There will be a limited production run of 50 of these units that people can sign up and in order and build as a 2023 Ford Bronco DR. So let me talk about it a little bit so you know exactly what it is. Um, some of the, the bones of the vehicle. It's, this starts life as a four door Bronco, even though it's only a two door here, actually a no door, looks like a two door. Um, but it's got a four, a four door frame underneath it and a four door body structure. Um, that's important for the strength and durability that we, we know is in this platform. Then we add to it, in order to be racing, you need a safety cage. So our partner for building this truck, Multimatic, we use their FEA tools and optimize safety cage. And what's the innovation here is the Acura tubes that are part of the, the frame and structure for the production truck are integrated directly with a safety cage so that you get a weight efficient, but still very safe, very durable cage. So that is important for us. Let me talk about the powertrain. You've heard it. This is a production Gen 3 5 liter Coyote V8. Lots of power available from that. In this installation, we obviously have a custom intake system, um, custom exhaust system, so there's custom calibration that goes th through that to optimize it. A lot of power there, 
So we're going to generate a lot of heat. It's a desert racer, so we've got to pull the radiators up here to protect it from the dirt and the sand. And Paul will tell you these look great, and these probably right, they do look great, but they're also very functional for getting a lot of air in there, keeping everything cool. So all that power then goes through a four to 10 speed automatic transmission, goes out to the differentials. It's an independently electronically controlled front and rear locking differential, 4.7 to one ratio. Um, as you see with the extra travel and with the extra torque available, we've got uh, RCV half shafts in the front of this so that we have extra torque capacity and articulation available for that. So great powertrain, really excited about that. And then for the suspension, again, uh, Multimatic as our partner with this uh, travel that we've got in the suspension, it's more than 50% increase in travel relative to the Bronco Badlands that you would buy. Um, and we've got some new dampers on here. They're Multimatic position selective dampers in the front with lots of travel, lots of control. So really excited about what we're gonna be able to do with that and the control for tuning it and adjusting it during the race. Uh, there's a billet, uh, lower control arm, machine from aluminum billet. Uh, great strength there, great design properties. And then we have uh, the uh, BF Goodrich tires, 37 inches. It's a mud terrain KM3 tire. So we've got the right tire to go desert racing. We've got the right suspension, the right powertrain, we think. So we're excited about this, excited to get it out, uh, have people see it. Um, and I think, I think it looks great, but I will let Paul talk about that because he's the expert on how it looks and he can tell us also about the delivery that's on here. So uh, we got very lucky. Um, as you can see, that the Bronco's got a fantastic legacy uh, in motorsport. And to be given the opportunity to sort of pen another chapter in that story was, was really cool. We took it very seriously. Well, we have to start somewhere. So me and my team spent a very happy afternoon, uh, not working, but just watching YouTube videos of Broncos racing back in the day, uh, Broncos racing right now. And also, we, we kind of got excited about 1980s Group B rally cars. All of this stuff is automotive aristocracy to us. Uh, that sort of framed what we wanted to do. Now, behind you, you'll see some of the very first sketches that the team put together. You'll probably need to look at that later. Um, I'm really proud of my team and how quickly they can zero in on stuff that's so cool and exciting. They're in a zone all the time. And we took from those sketches the first ideas and we poured them into the second board that will be that's on my left over here. We'll look at that later on. And with that in mind and using our typical Ford Bronco unusual design process, uh, we skipped the clay models. We didn't do any of that stuff. We went straight into fast CAD, a lot of digital reviews, a lot of virtual reality. And with that data finished, it was off to be made, and this is what we made. So uh, let me just talk you through what we think makes it a Bronco still. We've got that single piece grill, just like, uh, just like forever. And inside that single piece grill, it's a new design. It's much more open for cooling. Um, it's got the production vehicle headlights. Um, below that, we've got a new race ready uh, tube of the steel bumper that's mounted to the Bronco chassis frame. Above that, we've got our trans lights from the production vehicle, but beyond that, we've got this super powerful uh, 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 hood, new design, with the uh, air vents to allow all the heat out of the, the way from the V8. And that form factor penetrates through where the windshield would have been into the cockpit, where we've got a replica of the Bronco instrument panel. On the end of it, there are production vehicle grab handles just here. Then as you look at the body side, you may well be able to tell that it looks, it's really inspired by the Bronco R race prototype. We've got big tyres on this vehicle, we need the clearance. Now there are no doors, so the crews are going to have to scramble in where the windows would have been uh, into the vehicle. And then around the back, when you get time to look at it, you'll notice that we've got the production taillights as well. The swing gate's gone, it's just a spare tyre and an exoskeleton. All very, very optimised for racing. And above the belt line, I think it's just two things. It's all about cooling, because the cooling packs are behind the, uh, the occupants. And the second thing is just basically Max and Mawson. We just loved the look of this stuff. It's ex appropriately extreme. Now I think this, this really captures the essence of what a racing Bronco should be. But another aspect of, another as essence of what Bronco is all about for me is, is stories. And so I'm gonna just talk a little bit about the livery, the way that we've dressed this, this monster. Um, we, uh, at the front of the vehicle, our livery is black, white, and red. And you'll see that on Rod's truck, the first truck to arrive here today. So we start off at the beginning of our story with our livery, with a reference to the past. But as we move down the body side, you'll begin to see other things happen. We, re we introduce the, um, 
current working Bronco on the side there. And you'll notice it sits over chevrons and arrows. They're all about progress and movement, and, it, and it's an accelerating progress as we introduce more of those chevrons. As we get to the back, and the final part of that story is the black area. This is the void. This is the future. This is the unknown. This is a developing story. The only thing that sits in it is the stars and stripes.